Are they going to be as cool as that performance? But you still want to dance a little bit just to stay warm. It's <laughs> awfully cold out there, but I'll tell you what, we're going to see a lot of sunshine today. Temperatures still not reaching 60 until after lunchtime, but at least today we see the 70 degree mark. I'll let you know if we go up from there and when the next rain chances are coming into play. You're taking a live look over Southfield. Look at the sun's just going to start peaking up. Absolutely beautiful out there. It's just really cold. So careful when you head out today. Uh, the dogs are going to love it. You might not so much. Just make sure you've got that lightweight jacket with you today. I think that'll help out. You might not need it all day, but it's definitely to start out. Uh, Port Huron starting off at 37 degrees. Haven't gone up yet. Ann Arbor still at 39. Currently 40 in Detroit, 50 in Troy. Pontiac at 46. You can definitely tell temperatures down just a little bit. They will spring back up. Um, more than yesterday, so you're going to enjoy a little warmth to go with the sunshine. Right now we have basically clear skies out there. Absolutely gorgeous. All the cloud cover down towards Ohio and Indiana and the bigger rain showers are still down towards West Virginia and Kentucky. Ultimately, this front does come and it will bubble right up into Detroit tomorrow afternoon. So plan accordingly. Outside activities tomorrow, moms, could be a little tricky, say about 4 or 5 o'clock, and then for the next 24 hours after that, we could see a lot of rain. In the meantime, your future view uh, forecast looks like this. We basically have sunshine all day, so that's really simple. So I kind of shuttled forward through today to get you to Monday. I don't like to uh, get rid of your weekend too quickly. However, Monday when you have to change your plans, it's pretty important that you know this. 730 in the morning you start off going to work or going to school. Sunshine galore, but the clouds are on the increase and by lunchtime you'll notice that difference. A little more humidity in the air. The rain doesn't become into our area until after after four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, it will be scattered showers at first, and then you can see there is a chance of a rumble of thunder. Maybe uh, um, uh, the winds will pick up as well, but tomorrow we're not in the severe risk box. We're just in this pale green, which means your garden variety thunderstorm. In the meantime, Tuesday looks to be uh, carries a little more punch with it. As you can see, we are in the slightly uh, severe weather outlook box in the yellow. You can see this stretches through our entire area. So to Tuesday's the day that you're really going to have to plan for indoor activities. Today, everybody outside soak up the sunshine. 71 degrees, absolutely gorgeous. There's almost nothing you can't do outside today. Just keep in mind we're starting off on the cold side and it's going to take a good portion of the early morning to warm up. Uh, this evening down to 54. Now we're a little warmer tonight. The clouds will be thickening up tomorrow afternoon, but you'll definitely notice a difference. We're not going to be quite as cold moms Monday morning getting everyone off to school. So 71 with sunshine today. Monday we start off with the sunshine. Clouds are on the increase. We make it to 74. Touch more humidity comes into play on Tuesday and with that humidity brings in that chance of some showers and storms throughout the daytime. You're going to notice that it's going to be a windy and definitely on the gray side. On Wednesday we don't quite get rid of the the wind, matter of fact, even though we see the sunshine Wednesday afternoon, that wind might make you think, ah, oh, changes are in the works. Not so fast though, because you can see the sunshine comes out Thursday. Definitely Wednesday afternoon through next Saturday, we're looking absolutely great. We're just only looking at the 60s, which is a little